Hello out there. Hey, how you doing out there? Are you blessed? Are you here? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my dear brothers <laughs> and sisters in Christ. That's right. I, I hope you're saved out there. I Amen. truly do. Me too. From the bottom of my heart. You want to get saved if you're not saved? Come on, absolutely. If you, those of you who don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, right. then you're not saved. We will, if you will stick with us. That's right. We're going to give you that opportunity, we're going to, give you the opportunity to get saved. To Amen. receive Jesus and make the best decision you have ever made in that's your right, entire your, your life. Whole life, that's right. Right on. Yes, but we are so glad yes. that you're joining with Steve and I in mm. reading through the Bible in a year. It has been a awesome time. We are, we have been um, growing in leaps and bounds. Come on. I feel like our relationship yes. of Jesus is getting closer and closer. Amen. Hey, how about our relationship? And we're walking more and more in victory. That's the biggest thing. Man, victory. Amen. Amen. Even our, even our own right. relationship as man That's and wife. That's right. Husband and wife. That's what it's <laughs> I'm just picking on him, guys. Anyway. Yeah. That's that's also God good. is so good, he right? Is. You, know that's, good you know that's true. That's right. <laughs> so today's Bible reading is... A gentle answer. We're gonna get that out of Proverbs Verse, chapter yeah. fifteen. Yes. Or, yeah, chapter fifteen, verses one through five. We will go through that and we'll expound a bit on That's that. That's right. Amen. And uh, it's entitled truly a gentle answer. Right. And verse one says it like this: A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs, stirs up, up anger. Pain. How many can attest to that? Yeah. Right? You already know what we're talking right. about. Yeah. The tongue of the wise adorns the knowledge, but the mouth of fools gushes folly. Listen, who, who knows anything about that? The eyes of the Lord are everywhere. We know that he's watching us, right? He's always with us and he's always watching. Keep Keeping watch on the wicked and the good. A soothing tongue, a soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue gushes the spirit. Or crushes the spirit. A fool spurns a parent's discipline, but whoever heeds correction shows prudence. These are just a few things in that entire chapter that the book of Proverbs yeah. that we want to really get a hold of them yeah. and listen and live by. Right. And right? you know, right here too, it says here, keeping he keeps a watch on the evil and the good. That right there makes me want to make sure I'm doing good. Oh, all come the time. on, because he's always watching. He's constantly watching. Every, he knows everything that we do. <laughs> That's why we should on, be living a repentant life, too. That's right. We should always keep that, keep that in mind. Yeah. Yeah, listen, yeah, we're human. That's right. We are human. We're going to fall. We're going to fail at times. We're going to make Absolutely. those mistakes. But we get, get back up. We repent. We ask God to forgive come us, on. help us. And. You know, and bring that correction, God. Bring yes. that correction to my life so that I can um, help advance His kingdom and have and live a better life. Amen. That's, That's right. it. Amen. Exactly. That's right. So, anyways, today we're going to talk about a gentle answer. How how we speak to others. And I do have a story that I want to share with you that cool. happened to me. And All right, um, come on. So, anyway, so we read Proverbs fifteen one through five, and it does talk about. How we speak and how we right. how we respond to others, and see a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. When we respond incorrectly, the other person it makes them angry, and they're and they're going to show that anger towards you. Can I, can I interject? Yeah, you absolutely. Do you know what happens? And I know you do. All right, when you get people arguing, and one, oh, yeah. and one person. Oh, yeah. One person starts the thing, all right? <laughs> like, like she, she might start up an argument, and if it, if it, she, she knows what buttons to push, all right? With you. With me, of course. <laughs> and if it, if she hits the right button, bam! <laughs> I can get mad. Pow, pow, pow! <laughs> we are we're now we're, we're in a we're in a full blown argument. Now That's listen, right. but if I were to return to that with a. A harsh answer, not a harsh a, answer, a but a gentle soft, answer. Or a soft answer. Yeah. yeah. A I gentle might answer. have I might have been able to de escalate. It will calm it. Right. It calms <laughs> it. It does, it calms it. Come on, and so I know that I'm not the yeah. only one. And I know that out there out there your listeners are have go through things and you might have some harsh words, That's but right. listen, a soft word yes. can de escalate. That's right. It can take things down to a 
Woo. That's right. Where you can both have a, a conversation. Yes. And speak. Life. Life. <laughs> like that. That's right. Right on. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. And, and, and this verse does have immense power of speech, of good or ill. It really does. Yes, it does. This verse also teaches us people on issues of having a control, a controlled action. Come on. Or unregarded reactions to the words, behavior, language, and speech of others. <laughs> that's a lot. That, that is. That's, so that's a, a lot. lot. It's a mouthful, but I'm it's telling right. you, it's true. Because it is true. There's other, there's other actions and uh, when we, uh, when our emotions are running high. That's right. All right, there's behaviors. Right. And there's reactions. And uh, yeah. we want to make sure that we're, as Christians, right. we want to make sure that we're speaking godly things. That's right. Amen? Well, that's being a doer of the word, too. Yes. You know, God's trying to teach right us on. here that let's not return Evil for, for evil. evil. That's right. We know that, that that the words that we speak can either hurt or they can heal. You know that's true. That's right. They can provide hope yes. and oh. encouragement to others. Amen. Don't you love it when people encourage you? Oh, thank you for the encouragement. Absolutely. Don't you love that? Doesn't it build you up? That's what we're supposed to be doing, building one another up. Absolutely. With encouraging words, with how we speak to one another. That's right. right on. Wise and gracious words are powerful tool in pouring oil on troubled waters and right diffusing on. a bad situation, people. That's right. That could, that could escalate into something very serious, more right. serious. We're talking like maybe somebody rising up and screaming in your face, wow. which I do have a story about that. Well, I this happened to me. I'm ready for the story. <laughs> this it happened wasn't to me. me a few years. It was about five years ago, wasn't it? No, 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 10 years ago. 10 years? It was about 10 years You're ago. You're still mad? I'm not mad. No. I had this lady, she was very upset with me. And she literally got into my face and was screaming. I'm not, I'm not kidding. She was screaming at the top of her lungs. And I heard the Spirit of God say, stay silent. I remember this. And I did. I stayed silent. And it calmed it. I didn't return another word to her. I got up, I thanked her, and I even extended my hand to right. shake her hand. I said, thank you, and I left. Yep, that was that was the, the two of us that was right. just being berated. Yes, yes, but what I'm, my point is this, is that I could have raised, rose oh, up man. and screamed back, but I'm not gonna do that. For one thing, it would hurt my character. Right on. Not to mention your, your the testimony, the, your, yeah. your uh, that's right. What God has raised you up to, to be. be. That's right. Right. He that's didn't right. raise you that way. Right. That's right. Right on. So a gentle, a gentle, controlled, thoughtful speech can calm any situation, Come people. On, it can bring hope to the hopeless, healing to the injured, and grace to the offender. Right on. We know that we want to be led by the. Holy Spirit. That's right. Don't we? Yes, we do. And uh, that's and that's that's exactly what happened. That's right. When Deanna was, she was led by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. She was being berated, and by the, the Spirit yes. of God, said, "Do not return that." That's right. Be so, silent. so just remember that the next time somebody comes in your face or they're screaming oh, at you, and even even if you are in the wrong. Just return, apologize, return a soft angel. Come on, there See, it is. See, harsh, a harsh word, a harsh word is careless, it's hateful. Come on. And it can discourage and hurt, and it will stir up strife. Wow, that's awesome, Deanna. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so just at, don't do it. I look at that when, really? I, when, I, when I see <laughs> that stir up strife. I got this great big, uh, this great big uh, pot, and uh, somebody's stirring up strife, and it's full of strife. We get that ladle in yes. there and we start stirring it yeah. up. And that can only lead to more hurt. That's right. And more strife. That's right. And uh, that's not who God's created us to be. Yes. Amen. Amen. The words we speak, the words that we speak should be tender. Come on. Led by the Spirit. Yes. Seasoned. Our language should Woo! be seasoned with <laughs> grace and yes. love, people of Amen. God. Amen. That's awesome, Deanna. So the next time, you know, just... I, I dare you Come on. 
to test God's word in this area when somebody Amen. gets in your face and how I want to know how you're going to respond. You come let Steve and I know. Absolutely. How <laughs> let do us we know respond? the outcome. Because I already know the outcome, but you come and let me know. Amen. Or Steve. I think it's awesome. I it dare is. you it's to true. do it. It's true. And when you when you see it, and when you see it with, with your own eyes, you say, that was God amen. and his word. Yeah. And his promises are truth. Yes, his promises are yes and amen. amen. That's right. And when he says something, he really means That's it. That's right. This is how you're supposed to live. That's this right. is how you're supposed to act. This is how you're supposed to speak. Yes. And that's how God works in our lives, if you'll let him, right? That's right. Amen. amen. And he's given us what? The Bible. The Holy Bible. The B-I-B-L-E. As an instruction manual yes. for life. Yes. Amen? Yes. Let's just all of us hey, give on. good, gracious, loving answers. Amen, amen, and amen. Yes. We are also are at that point right now where we want to invite those of you yes. who don't know Jesus. That's right. You don't know as Jesus. As your Lord and Savior. Amen. And I want to say this to you. Don't wait. You dilly-dallied long enough. That's right. Don't do it. All right. You keep putting it off and putting it off. Listen, if you feel the unction, if you feel the, the, the tugging of the Holy Spirit right yeah. now, if you are ready to receive Jesus Christ, and I'm telling you, the best. Yes decision you will ever make. Amen. It is. And I'm telling you, once you've done this, once you've actually made the decision mm -hmm. to accept that you are a sinner, yeah. accept that you need a Savior, yeah. all right? Accept the fact that you do need God. That's right. Listen, let's just, just, just pray with me. All right, repeat after me and say, Father God, Father God, I come to you now. I come to you. I now. realize. I realize that I need Jesus. I need Jesus to live in my heart. To live in my heart. I know. I know. I need Jesus. I need Jesus in my life. In my life. I believe. I believe He died on the cross. That He died on the cross. And I believe. I believe He rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. So that I could have eternal life. So that I could have eternal life. And life more abundant. And life more abundant. Here on earth. Here on earth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. Amen. Amen. So easy, right? Amen. You didn't have to jump through a bunch of hoops. That's right. But you do have to speak it with your mouth, and you do have to. Believe it in That's your heart. Right. Amen? Amen. And it has to come from here. That's right. All right? That's right. So listen, if you just received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then we are excited. Excited for you. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing you. with you. Rejoicing as they That's are right. in heaven. That's right. Amen. Amen. And if you did receive Jesus, Amen. Listen. Let us know. Our website number will be at the bottom of the screen. Yes. Give us a call. Those of you who stuck with us this far, hit that subscribe yes, button. Yes, and hit that yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and listen, check out check out our church on Sunday mornings at ten a.m. Either right. online or come see us first. We have a we have a we have a great, powerful pastor. Amen. I'm telling you, he brings forth a word like you wouldn't believe. He he's he's an awesome Amen. man of God, and I know you guys will love him. And that's at Res Life Church, St. Louis, Louis, Michigan. Michigan. All Amen. right, you guys. We love you. We love you. We you call guys you have, blessed. Yes, yes. And we say <laughs> peace. Peace, and we'll see you. Come check us out tomorrow, tomorrow. morning. Peace. Peace.